Thank you for joining us for 13 News Now Daybreak at 6 o'clock. I'm Andre Senior. And I'm Ashley Smith. It's the top of rush hour, so Christina is watching the roads for any trouble spots. And it's a little bit chilly out there. Yes, bit. Tim yeah. is here with more on that, Tim. Hey, guys, day two of temperatures well below average in terms of uh, where we should be this time of the year. In the low 80s is where we usually end up in early June. Instead, 60s, clouds, and even some showers out there right now. On the lighter side, some of this might not even be making the ground out through Chesapeake and over into Virginia Beach, but you head south, greater chances of these showers making it to the surface out through Elizabeth City south towards Hertford and Winslow and Poplar Branch and we'll see these spread a little bit farther to the north in the next few hours there closer to a coastal system developing off Hatteras or the farther south and east yard today better shot at seeing some of those showers everybody else kind of cloudy and dreary like pretty much what we had yesterday with those winds coming in out of the north and east 59 right now Newport News 54 in Melfa 59 in Chesapeake 60 in Suffolk 59 at the beach and 54 now in watch so for today not big difference from yesterday cloudy with showers out there this morning in the 50s warming into the mid 60s by your lunch hour and then maybe some partial clearing especially farther inland and west later on today with a high in the mid 60s tomorrow Everything starts to change. We'll talk all about that coming up in your full forecast. For now, we want to get an early check on those roads with Christina. Yeah, top of rush hour is here, but so far so good on the roads pretty much all across Hampton Roads. I wanted to go ahead and check out things on the peninsula. You see lots of green there on I-64 all the way from Williamsburg down um, through Newport News and Hampton. But let's talk about the HRBT. This is the time of day where we usually start to see a little bit of backup starting there, but a live look at the Hampton Tower. You can tell traffic is moving right along. So if you're heading south side from the peninsula, you shouldn't have any major issues. But let's talk drive times. Pretty much any route you take, whether it's I-64, Monterey Merrimack, or the James River Bridge, everything is looking good for you and a fast and speedy commute. Elsewhere in Hampton Roads, things continue to check out just fine. Just to make sure, we're going to be heading to Virginia Beach next. Guys? All right, thank you, Christina. Well, now to breaking news out of Portsmouth, where a shooting has claimed a man's life on Chippewa Trail. That's not far from Airline Boulevard and Portsmouth Boulevard. Now, according to the department spokesperson, dispatchers got a call around 1230 this morning after someone reported hearing arguing and then gunshots. When officers got there, they found a man shot, and that's where he died. Now, police don't have any suspect information, but they tell us they are still investigating, so look for updates throughout the morning. Well, new this morning, Hampton police are investigating what led up to a shooting that injured two people. It happened around 1154 last night on Rip Rap Road, just off King Street. Both victims are recovering in the hospital with non life threatening injuries. We'll check back in with police later today to see if they know what led to the shooting and if they have any suspects in custody. Well, now to our sky view at Nauticus here in just a moment. We're going to look live there at Town Point Park. Harbor Fest does not start until tomorrow, but the preparations are already underway in downtown Norfolk. As crews begin setting up America's longest, free-running, largest maritime festival, all that stuff, they will shut down Waterside Drive between Main Street and Martin's Lane today. That starts at 10 o'clock this morning. Now, drivers can use Atlantic Street or St. Paul's Boulevard to get around. That closure runs through Sunday. And remember, Harbor Fest kicks off with the Parade of Sail. 13 News Now is a proud sponsor. You can watch the parade live on 13 News Now at noon tomorrow. Well, there are several years between astronaut classes. This time, NASA got a record number of applicants, more than 18,000. 12 people made the cut, including some names from Hampton Roads. Biologist Zena Cardman from Williamsburg and former Oceana pilot Matthew Dominic are among those chosen to operate the next generation of spacecraft. Vice President Mike Pence welcomed the group during a ceremony yesterday at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. Now, after two years of training, they may end up riding commercial rockets to the International Space Station. Well, the new Veterans Care Center in Virginia Beach now has a name. A 128 bed center off Nimmo Parkway will be called the Jones and Cabacoy Veterans Care Center. Now, the name honors Air Force Colonel William Jones, a Norfolk native who served in Vietnam, and Army Staff Sergeant Christopher Cabacoy of Virginia Beach, who served in Afghanistan. The center will focus on patients suffering from chronic illnesses that require long term constant care. It will also provide short term rehabilitation, groundbreaking, is set for later this year.
A search is underway for a missing woman in Chesapeake. Juanita Caulfield hasn't been seen since Saturday. Law enforcement tells us a 77 year old has dementia and she could be in trouble. Search and rescue coordinator Mark Eggman says his team is pulling in resources from all over the state to find her. The big thing we're going to be doing is looking to make sure that we've covered the areas that we're not creating any gaps. He goes on to say that most of the time people with dementia don't wander far from where they were last seen. They hope this is the case for Caulfield so they can find her and get her home safely. Well, North